Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the module about model-based optimization. Model-based optimization, that is also called surrogate-based optimization, is an innovative machine learning related optimization strategy and particularly appropriate for time-intensive performance simulations. Means if we have design problems where we have um, simulation models that evaluate the quality of our design and these simulations need a lot of time to run, then these model-based um, optimization approaches, they uh, or this can um, help us to shorten the needed time for our optimization. And since we are often um, since we often use such simulations in architecture or in design, um, planning, this model-based optimization seems to be very useful for such kind of optimization problems. And that's why um, we included it into this module, into this course. This introduction is based on the research and publications of Thomas Wortmann, who explored these model-based optimization techniques in the context of architectural design problems and especially who developed a component that we can use in our um, modeling design and simulation environment, Rhino and Grasshopper. The, reference, um, the references to these um, papers from Thomas Wortmann, they are provided below this video. Model-based optimization methods find good results with small number of simulations. So that's what I mentioned. You don't need to run a simulation for each of your design variant. There is a smarter way to do this. This high speed of convergence is important for design problems um, that include, for example, a daylight simulation or building energy simulation or network centrality analysis, or as we do it in our example in the next lesson, a view field analysis, where a single simulation may take several minutes or even hours to complete. Under such conditions, it's impractical to perform thousands of simulations required by the population-based metaheuristics, such as the evolutionary algorithms that we considered so far in this course. There are different approaches for optimization that can be, can be distinguished in the three broad categories and that are shown in the diagrams beside me. First of all, there is the direct search. In the middle, there is this model-based method. And on the right-hand side, the meta-heuristics that we used so far for our evolutionary algorithms. Model-based methods approximate the design space as a whole by constructing a surrogate model. That's the model why we call it a model-based optimization. Um, so this surrogate model of the implicit mathematical formulation of the simulation-based problem. So you make a model of your problem, respectively of the fitness landscape that we considered in the modules before. Surrogate models are much faster to calculate than simulations. So that's why we use them, and they, thus they can accelerate the optimization process. However, as approximations, surrogate models are less accurate, that's the price that you have to pay, than the underlying simulation. So it's faster, but not that accurate. Accuracy is a concern, especially for approaches that complete, replace time-intensive simulations with, and with surrogate models and then apply optimization. Improving the model's accuracy requires a large sample size, which can negate the initial speed advantage. So in the end, it's about the settings of your model-based um, optimization algorithm that decides if it's really faster than the evolutionary algorithm, respectively, um, if you realize that the results are not that precise as with the other methods, then you may have to change the parameters. Model-based methods iteratively build the refined model during the optimization process. So this 
model means um, a model of the fitness landscape related to the design space. We remember this relation of the mapping from a set of parameters from the design space to the fitness landscape, um, so the solution space. Um, there is a clear relationship and this model based methods, they try to predict the fitness landscape by this machine learning algorithm. At every iteration, a model-based method searches the model for a promising solution. This can be deterministically or randomly or with a meta-heuristic, um, population-based approach. And it simulates the found solutions and updates the model with the exact simulation result. So there is a kind of a loop between the creation, the prediction of the fitness landscape of the model and um, from time to time, we improve this model by running simulations of or that tells us precisely how good this um, solution is. So that's shown in this figure. So the red um, row illustrates this model that reminds us to our fitness landscape in contrast to the other optimization approaches um, that are shown in the other rows. So the blue one is the direct algorithm um, that divides a search space into a certain area and directly searches for the best solutions, which may not always find the global optima. And the yellow column is the one that we already know very well, this um, population-based simulation where we have a population that explores the, the, the fitness landscape, our solution space. More recent global model-based methods approximate this design space um, on a global level. So it creates um, uh, these this surfaces for the whole design problem. And it constructs a surrogate model with a variety of statistical and machine learning related um, methods. This can be um, for example, these neural networks and support vector machines and um, aspects from machine learning that we don't explore, we don't explain in this course in detail, but they are used for the creation of the model of our design, respectively the solution space, um, our fitness landscape. How we do this, um, how we use this algorithm, um, that's done by a component in Rhino Grasshopper called Opossum, the optimization tool um, that is presented here in the slide. It looks very similar to the optimization component Galapagos that we've already used. And this component interpolates the design space with a machine learning technique that is called radial based um, or radial-based functions. Um, the global model-based methods are particularly efficient for the optimization problem with time-intensive simulations, as I've explained to you already. And um, it, always, uh, it also um, can cover a complex relationship between our design parameters and um, the objectives or the fitness function. This algorithm converge quickly means it finds good solutions quickly um, by altering between the evaluation of the surrogate model, which is fast, but it's an approximation of the fitness landscape. And on the other hand side, we run from time to time the exact simulations, which needs more time, but updates our um, surrogate model. The surrogate model not only improves convergence, but offers opportunities for visualization and interaction that are relevant for architectural design optimization, because often we want to explore the possible solutions um, that are found or the options that we have. We are not always looking for the optimal solution. We want to see variance and we want to have a good interface to explore what has happened in or during the optimization. 
And this model-based approach offers us very nice possibilities to do this. An example of such an innovation, visualization and exploration interface um, is shown in the second lecture after the example in this module. So compared to other types of optimization methods, model-based methods require additional calculations to construct the search, um, uh, to construct the surrogate model at every optimization step. But um, this has the advantage that we can predict the quality of um, variance and we don't need to run so many simulations. However, a single function evaluation um, takes more than a few seconds to construct this um, surrogate model and the time required for this calculation is thus neglectable in contrast to the very time-consuming simulations. So that's again the reason why I think this model-based approach can be very useful to shorten the simulation times because if you use these optimization techniques for your design problems in the real world or with real design contexts, you will often find yourself in the situation that the simulations take a lot of time and this approach may help us to overcome this problem. Opossums, um, Opossum offers a graphical user interface, which is shown here, um, that reduces the complexity of the used model-based optimization algorithm. Um, it organizes it into three tabs that are um, increasing or that contains increasing levels of control um, and presents that it contains presets that are based on some intensive testing by Thomas Wortmann with some mathematical test functions. So um, you can use them to start um, with this model-based approach. And eventually you need to adjust a few parameters if you realize that the results are not satisfying. But I think for the beginning, it's absolutely fine to use these presets. As every creature, Opossum has a father, and I mentioned him already, that's Thomas Wortmann. He created the component in Grasshopper that we use. Um, you have to register for the component at the website after you download Opossum. Um, you need your own um, license. It's for free. It's um, provided by um, filling in the form. So please do this. And as mentioned, uh, I link you, or I put a link below the video to the research of Thomas Wortmann, also on ResearchGate. There is a collection of papers that you can read to learn more about this model approach or this optimization approach with model-based optimization. Um, and you can find some examples that he used, but we will use our own example that you can see here as a small preview. We will use a um, visibility view field that's the analysis, um, what you can see or how much open space you can see from a certain location. And we use this as a fitness function or as our simulation to compute the fitness of, the um, of a design where we place these rectangles that you can see, some kind of buildings that shall be distributed to minimize the area that we can see from certain points in this analysis area. I will explain you the details in the example in the next lesson, but if you want to learn more about the visibility analysis um, that's covered in another course on the online teaching platform uh, called Parametric Urban Design and Analysis. But for now, um, this um, was the introduction to the concept, the theory of model-based optimization. Next, we will look into an example.